Let's have a look at the data section for our paired comparison experiment. So collecting data. So what we want to do is when we do this experiment, when you actually do it for assessment, I'm going to get you to work in groups of three to four students. And you will work on the planning of it and the data collection steps together. The next part of it, your analysis conclusion, that's what you'll be doing individually. Okay. So we need to make sure that everybody in the group participates. And I need to observe that when you're doing it. And so one way I can do that is to give, have different jobs that people are going to do. So we need to decide, in your group you're going to decide who is going to be the presenter. Who is actually going to give out the instructions to the students and say what's happening. Who is going to record the data. So who is going to enter that data into a Google Sheet or an um, Excel spreadsheet or something. Who's in charge of the materials. So who's going to make sure that you've got the cards that you need or you've got the pieces of paper that cut up ready to go or whatever the equipment might need, who's going to be in charge of that. And somebody is going to be the observation recorder. So when you actually do this experiment, somebody, and I try to get two people if possible, actually just need to observe students when you're doing it and, make, and notice down anything um, that you observe. So the next step is to actually open up a Google Sheet, or you can do go to Excel, and you want to enter that data. So what we do is we enter our data, um, and remember we've talked about in our plan how we're going to have one column with the dominant hand, and one column with the non-dominant hand, and one column with the difference. Okay, and we are going to have all of that, and we're going to select all of that data, and copy and paste that into NZ Grapher. All right. Now there is another video that um, shows how to, add, to get the graphs we need, um, but we're just going to NZ Grapher and under the data menu there is a paste table option. So the other thing we just want to quickly remind you about is the observations. So what things you're observing is what are some of the behaviours or events that might affect the results of that experiment. So if I'm getting people to write with their dominant hand, have they? Have I noticed other people talking? And if they're talking, maybe they're going to take longer to write the passage. So do you notice how I'm explicitly trying to connect my observation with the effect on that response variable? Okay. Um, so that's the kind of observations I can talk about. I can also think about improvements what would I do to make this into a better experiment? If I did it again, how could I control more things and improve it? All right.